first things first, we have to put together a pitch for investors. Wait, Cole, are you recording? Yep, we're rolling. I don't understand why we have to record all this. Because we're all going to be famous one day. And our fans are going to want to peek behind the curtain, so to speak. Ugh, okay. Well, for the pitch, I can put together a prototype illusion that will blow your mind. Great idea. We also still need to come up with a name for our attractions. How about... Mysterians? No, no, no. We will not use the name Mysterio in any way, shape, or form. People are going to call you Mysterio whether you like it or not. But I am not Mysterio anymore. I am Quentin Beck, Master Illusionist. Beck didn't want to be a bad guy anymore. Good for him. Okay, let's talk image. We'll want to assure investors you're not the criminal you once were. I've done my time. Shouldn't that be enough? Unfortunately not. Let's talk about your origin. What led you to become Mysterio in the first place? I... <laughs> Is this really necessary? If you want to be successful, yes. I... I guess it was ego, mostly. We all have egos, Quentin. Oh. <laughs> Not like mine. Former supervillain has a big ego. Go figure. Why are you recording us having lunch? I figured our fans will want to know a little about you and how you got to know Quentin. He was my neighbor growing up. We played together sometimes, but then he went to a different school. He was way more advanced than the rest of us regular kids. I can totally see that. Was he always so creepy and weird? Cole, that's... <laughs> that's not nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's harmless, I think. But if I could find another job, I would. You're making the right choice to stay. He's a genius. As soon as the world sees what we're doing, we're all going to be very, very rich. Betsy knew Beck from way back. And she's all in. But it sounds like Cole has her doubts. I've got some bad news. Our pitch was rejected. By who? Everyone. Ah! Uh, idiots! Can't they see how we're creating the future of entertainment? Oh, they love the technology, just not the talent. You mean me, the ex-con. Let's come up with a different strategy. We've got something amazing here. We can make this work somehow. I feel bad for Beck. Gotta be tough trying to shake a reputation like that. Gather round, team. Got some good news. We got our funding. Finally. Who's the investor? Me. I secured a business loan with some appalling terms, but at least it got approved. Betsy, I'm flattered you'd put so much faith in me, but... Not just you, Quentin. In all three of us. I have full confidence we will make this venture successful. Betsy went all in on Beck. She must really believe in him. Quentin, we need to talk. As you can see, I'm busy. I'm sensing some emotions from you right now. Emotions. You know, when I was in prison, I learned a lot about emotions. How to control them. I know you're upset about the whole Mysterium thing, Quentin. But you need to get on board here. The Mysterio name is marketable. Quentin Beck is not. Without Quentin Beck? You'd have nothing to sell. So it seems like you need to get on board with me and my emotions. Sounds like things were getting spicy between Betsy and Beck. Cole, you're bleeding. Yeah, I know. What the hell, man? It appears to be a minor injury. Wait, these illusions are just illusions, right? I think I cracked a tooth. Well. The illusions should be harmless. 
Unless someone's doing something they shouldn't be doing. Right, Cole? Uh, don't look at me like that. This was not my fault. Well then, this is quite the mystery. Was Cole hurt in an accident? Or did Beck do it on purpose because he was salty about having to use the name Mysterio? Quentin, we have to talk. You seem to want to talk a lot. But what is it that you actually do as part of this endeavor? <clears throat> Cole discovered some hidden routines in the Mysterium code. We can scan bank cards in our customers' pockets? A 21st century parlor trick. We use that information to look at their purchase history, browsing history, create a bespoke world that makes our audience believe in the unbelievable. But if it gets out that we have people's bank information... I'm the only one with the encryption codes, and I haven't told anyone. What about you? No, of course not. Then as long as you and Cole keep it to yourselves, our secret is safe. Right? Right. Beck was scanning people's credit cards to customize his illusions? Sounds like something the old Mysterio would do. You sure he's not listening? He has his tricks, you know. No, we're safe. <sighs> he's acting very weird. You mean weirder. You sure he's not listening? He has his tricks, you know. No, we're safe. <sighs> he's acting very weird. You mean weirder. He's gone quiet all of a sudden. Won't speak to me. Do we have a way out in case he gets violent or something? We'll be fine. Here he comes. Let's talk more later. Sounds like Cole and Betsy were scared of Beck's change in behavior. I think he's on to us. If so, there's only one solution. We need him alive. What do we do, just tie him up or something? Yes, good idea. We set him up as the fall guy in case anyone catches on. Yeah, like tell everyone he went full Mysterio? Exactly. He would be the one most likely to steal money, not the two women who aren't former supervillains. Now we just need to figure out how to get the richest people in the city into these Mysteriums. Okay, but there's still some code that I haven't figured out and the Spider-Men will help us with that. Ha! <laughs> That's brilliant. Heroes always looking to help. And if all goes to plan, we'll have millions in the bank before anyone catches on. And when they do, Quentin goes back to prison. And we retire in style. Looks like the biggest illusion was Betsy and Cole's innocence. Wonder where Beck is going from here. <laughs>